Beloved Masters, it is time to acknowledge and claim ownership of your core essence, your true identity. You are not just a male or female human being residing on the planet Earth. You are not just a soul within a physical body with many facets of your higher self scattered throughout this universe. You are of royal lineage, my friends, with ancestors of great renown. You are the star seed, the ways howers from the far reaches of the Omniverse, who were sent forth on a special mission that is rapidly coming to a culmination. You know who you are, for we have often spoken of this in the past. We do not want you to get the idea that you are better or more than the rest of humanity, however, those of you who have been reading our messages and applying our teachings are now ready to step to the fore and share your wisdom with those on the path behind you. You do not have to become formal teachers and hold classes, even though this is a great and worthy calling if you have the desire to do so. The different levels of consciousness the human species have experienced since first embodying on planet Earth are animal or human nature, human or human nature, human or spiritual nature and spiritual or human nature. We will focus only on the human or spiritual nature and the spiritual or human nature at this time. Developing your spiritual or human nature first, as a transducer and bearer of divine light, you are to magnetize to you and radiate from your sacred heart center as much creator light as humanly possible. Secondly, you must strive to become a living example of how a self-master functions within any environment and situation. You must live your truth as it has been revealed to you. Third, you are to share your wisdom with others when appropriate, and you must also know when to be silent. Greater and greater numbers of brave souls are well on the way to self-mastery easily flowing with the currents of the higher fourth or lower fifth dimensional energy, while learning to use their creative gifts in ways never before believed possible. You, the legions of light, are breaking down old barriers and structures that have held humanity in a limited, restricted reality for many thousands of years. You now have a better understanding of yourselves and those around you as you traverse the energy waves of interactive response, gleaning wisdom and awareness as to what is in or out of harmony. Many of you are amazed at what is now being presented to you via the mirroring process as your reflection softens into a more loving and gentle image. There has been some confusion as to the difference between the World Pyramid and the World Server Pyramid. The World Pyramid is available to every soul on Earth. Any person who feels altruistic love for another, without conditions, has a permanent etheric replica within the World Pyramid. The World Pyramid has been created for all humanity so that anyone who wishes to go there to commune with our Father or Mother God, the great beings of light and the angelic forces may do so. It is a place to express gratitude and to pay homage to our God-parents, the Supreme Creator, and the mighty forces of the heavenly realms. It is a sacred place of the highest form, and all who wish to experience the bliss of oneness and share their spiritual abundance and sacred love are assured a place there. You could call it a great cathedral in the sky, for in the future it will take the place of many houses of worship as the world's religions begin to accept the advanced wisdom teachings mandated by our Father or Mother God. However, in order to become an active member within the ranks of world servers and gain entrance into the world server pyramid, you must have firmly integrated the balanced frequencies of the higher planes of the fourth dimension. You must also begin the process of integrating an even higher frequency formula consisting of a variety of fifth dimensional energies. You must be centered within the sacred heart so that you have gained access to the inflow of adamantine particles of creator light. When your soul song is attuned to frequencies outlined above, you automatically gain entrance into the world server pyramid which is positioned in the highest planes of the fifth dimension. World servers are also the intermediaries between the spiritual hierarchy and humanity. As a world server you must always remember that each person is on his or her own special path of ascension and he or she will make the journey in their own time and in their own way. You must always remain empathic to those who are traversing the turbulent valleys of the Shadowlands, however, you must not get entangled in the ongoing dramas within the illusional world of the lower densities. It is vastly important that you view all that is occurring around you from a higher vantage point so that you may remain centered within your sacred heart, for this is your point of power. We will refresh your memory with some of the basic teachings so that you will be able to share this knowledge with those who wish to share your light and your wisdom. 
Developing your human or spiritual nature you must honor your uniqueness and the specific design and structure of your bodily form as well as the mental and emotional nature that you chose to experience in this lifetime. Your gender, race, culture, and family lineage, along with the basic overall circumstance, were all programmed to give you the best opportunity to face your challenges, develop your talents and return to a harmonious state of being, so that you can reclaim self-mastery. People living in a third and lower fourth dimensional reality exist within a vortex of unseen energies, however, these powerful, lower frequency patterns are as real as the air you breathe. Voicing irritation or angry thoughts in forceful, loud tones draws forth lower astral plane substance, a swirling mass of distorted, chaotic energy. It is vitally important that you monitor and control your thought patterns so that you may exist in a balanced force field of loving, empowering and beneficial thought forms, instead of a whirlpool of negative, distorted, chaotic energy. First comes the purification stage of the ascension process. It is like awakening from a dream into a conscious state of awareness. You begin to see things differently, and a divine discontent and some seed thoughts begin to filter into your mind. Over time, a powerful source of energy begins to flow through you, bringing forth new ideas and a desire to improve many areas of your life. Also, your heart begins to pulsate with new feelings, more compassion and sensitivity to those with whom you interact on a daily basis. You also begin to feel a yearning for something that you cannot identify. In the beginning process of expansion of consciousness, your narrow-focused life will change dramatically. Your soul self will gradually become the director and overseer of your life, however, the ego desire body will not easily give up the dominance it has had on your mental and emotional natures for a very long time. As you progress in conscious awareness, prayer evolves into active and passive meditation. Affirmations and mantras are ways of talking to our Father or Mother God and the beings of light. Meditation or sacred silence is listening for an answer. Over time, the desires of the ego will gradually be replaced by soul-focused mental aspirations. You must follow the dictates of your soul and become attuned to the whispers and nudgings of your higher self. You must traverse the shadowlands of the lower astral planes and face all the negative illusions you have created fear, guilt, shame, unworthiness, abandonment, and a fatalistic sense of despair. Gradually, you will gain the assurance that if you face these negative thought forms head-on, there is nothing to fear. You will begin living a dual awareness of self whereby you will gradually tap into the higher astral plane levels of the fourth dimension and the lower mental planes of the fifth dimension. You will slowly harmonize and integrate your emotional and mental natures so that you may then move on to the process of attaining a harmonious oneness with the many facets of your human self. When this has been accomplished, you are ready for the process of integration with the multiple facets of your higher self. If you continue to heed the call, you will develop a desire to understand the meaning of life and what your higher purpose is beyond your limited, mundane world of existence. Suddenly, the activities and the people you previously interacted with no longer seem to bring a sense of satisfaction and pleasure as in the past. The undercurrent of divine discontent begins to grow stronger within your mind and also takes precedence within your emotional nature. Your desire for spiritual knowledge grows stronger, along with the need to understand what is happening to you. It is as if the blinders have been removed from your eyes and you have become an alien in a strange land. Perhaps you have no one you can confide in, and you begin to feel isolated and alone. Until you have opened the lines of communication and gained access to the wisdom of your soul self, your solar plexus functions as your radiating energy center on the physical plane. It is also a part of the physical emotional center. As your soul self becomes the overlighting influence in your life, you will gradually gain access to your sacred heart and your sacred mind centers. As a result, your solar plexus is gradually integrated into what we call the solar power center, which consists of the solar plexus, the heart, thymus, and throat. Thereafter, your sacred heart will be your center of power, for you will have a constant flow of adamantin particles of life flowing through your sacred heart center, throughout your physical form and then out into the world. You will also find solace, strength, and compassion within the inner sanctum of the sacred heart. You must create a solid foundation in order to effectively change yourself and your personal world for the better. 
you must strive to access the wisdom of your higher mental body in order to gain an understanding of the universal laws and the workings of the cosmos. This is a vital step in the process of becoming an initiate on the path of ascension if you are to successfully complete the process of releasing old, limiting, disempowering beliefs so that they may be replaced with the enlightened concepts of self-mastery. As you integrate these new, more refined beliefs and habits, they will expand into a new philosophy of life, that of a compassionate self-master. You will then be ready to share your newly gained wisdom with those around you. In essence, you will be attending an inner focused, cosmic university whereby you must first understand, integrate and perfect each level of consciousness before you are allowed to move to the next higher level of enlightenment and empowerment. It is advisable to prioritize the changes you wish to make in your inner and outer reality. Endeavoring to make too many radical changes at once will create too much chaos and discomfort. This is the reason why so many people fall by the wayside and go back to their old ways of being no matter how painful and dissatisfying they may be. It is important that you identify the primal instincts and habits that you have brought with you into this lifetime or that you have accepted as your truth over the years. You must walk through the labyrinth of limitation created by walls of distorted beliefs and negative vibrational patterns. Hate and fear are the lowest frequencies of energy. Withdraw your energy from the shadowlands and focus your mind and all your beingness on the light. The darkness cannot grow or continue to exist without the vibrations of hate, greed, judgment and self-service through a desire to control and to conquer. The parable or the concept of being born again, which was taught by the Master Jesus, really meant that every person on earth must go through the process of removing the veil of ignorance and limitation through conscious effort in order to reclaim his or her God-given status as a spiritual or human being with a divine birthright. Love and compassion are the highest frequencies within humanity's spectrum of light and shadow. Inspired, sacred thought forms, originating within the sacred mind and filtered through the sacred heart, are the most powerful, creative energy in the material world of existence. The flame within the sacred heart is one of the manifestations of the Supreme Creator, the white fire essence called adamantine particles. The fire element continually replicates itself and through invocation it will eventually transform humanity's distorted creations. The fire element is the supreme force of the five elements, fire, air, earth, water, and spiritual ethers. You, the advanced light bearers, are now comfortably established within the ever-increasing vibrational patterns of the earth's etheric body, which is gradually moving into the harmonious frequencies of the higher fourth dimension while preparing to spiral into the lower plane frequencies of the fifth dimension. However, as you know, time is accelerating and your beloved planet is progressing along the path of ascension more and more rapidly. As it does, your reality will begin to change even more dramatically. Over a span of time, much of what you thought was your truth, your new way of functioning and being, your new identity, will be upgraded, modified, or left behind. A new holographic picture is emerging, and in your uncertainty you wonder where you fit in this new scheme, and what you are to do now. We ask you to stay focused on the task at hand, to stay centered within your sacred heart and to light the way for those on the path behind you. There are many wondrous miracles in the making, beloveds. Stand strong in your truth and integrity, and we will light the way for you. You are loved most profoundly, I am Archangel Michael and I bring you these truths.